Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to ESPN Face to Face. I am Charnold Hoopscotch. Here with me is my co-host. I'm Don Demonsne. And ladies and gentlemen, we've got a good one today. Today we're going to take you face to face with all of our famous contestants and uh, we're going to compare and see uh, who's got what it takes. And who doesn't. That's right. But before we start, a quick word from our sponsors. First off, Rat Plan Insurance. Uh, when you don't have a plan, you're going to get rats. Our next sponsor is uh, Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkus. And as always, Subway. And don't forget, if you mention seeing this show to your nearest Subway employee, you can get $4 from their paycheck. All right, and let's get face-to-face. Today we're going to start with the Mm B-League. We're going to see how they fare out head-to-head, who's going to go, who's not. Here we are with the B-League, our first two contestants. We have James Johansson and Levi Blue Jeans Bordeaux. Yeah, and this is a very interesting mashup because their stats are incredible. It's just, let, let's just start running through them. Uh, James Johansson's got, his meals eaten in bathroom is a very high number. He's up at 62. To me, James looks like an efficient man, and I think the meals in the bathroom are just a sign of how, how quickly he, he went through life. You know? mm-hmm. But another huge difference in here is the total hours of eye contact with dogs. That's a stat where you just got to get higher. It's uh, the, the higher, the better. More dogs, more eye contact. Yeah, definitely the judges aren't going to like the fact that James probably doesn't own a dog. And last but not least, we have illegal vehicle maneuvers. Miss Bordeaux over there just blows James out of the water. With James, you're trying to talk about, you know, meals eaten in the bathroom, how crafty of a guy he is. With only that low uh, number of illegal vehicle maneuvers, I'm going to have to say I think that Levi takes this one for me. I think Levi is going to take it as well, and, uh, I mean, we'll see how she does, but uh, I'm in there too. All right, good. On to our next matchup. We've got Antonia Smalltown versus uh, Simon Riggsley Glasses. Uh, they actually know each other quite well. They're actually very good friends. Yeah, it's unfortunate. You will have to see one of them go down, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's just what has to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, just has to. First off, Bones lost. Now, Simon looks like a man who, you know, maybe he's he's come across a couple extra bones in his life, but 22, uh, it's a pretty high number. I just kind of wonder... Uh, is he taking care of his bones? Is he, you know, uh, is he being responsible with those bones? Listen, if I want to jump down a couple spots here, um, we look at just the number of mistakes, though, for oh. Simon. Uh, yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty clear. That's one mistake. Those, uh, you know, maybe one of those bones being gone or lost was an accident. But I'll tell you what, at least 21 of those bones uh, have been lost on purpose. And Antonia, she's got only zero bones lost, and... If you don't lose a bone here or there, are you really living life? Simon Rigsley's probably going to take this one over Antonia. Let's just hope that friendly competition doesn't get a little too fierce. They get into the ring, get split up, and uh, ooh, it gets uh, it gets uh, dastardly down there. Yeah, and up next, our next matchup and our final matchup of the BB, we have Griffin Good Plastic versus Grip Strength. Oh. And, well, this is just a story yeah, you can see right uh, here. It's laid out you know, pretty clearly in the numbers. You want to um, almost at I, first say that, you know, uh, grip strength is, you know, probably just been unlucky, made a few mistakes, but at the end of the day, um, with just such a, a basic category like warnings heated, a number, you know, a stat of zero and warnings heated, yeah. you got to really, you know, he's put it on himself. It's just irresponsible at the end of the day, mm-hmm. and uh, the 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 big guys upstairs they don't really love they don't really love the irresponsibility here. Mm-hmm. Uh, honestly, on a normal day, I would I would I would say both of these guys wouldn't quite make it through. Mm-hmm. But um, if this is the matchup, it's got to go to Griffin. Yeah, and that's what makes it a fitting end for the B League. Both, uh, mm-hmm. you know, rather shit contestants uh yeah pretty bad yeah, pretty sorry bad. guys um, um i good. think they it's fine if they all lose and that fine. could happen you know you never know mm-hmm. um anyway but next we're yeah. going to uh move on to our a league these contestants are going to be a little more competitive and i'm excited to see who we've got yeah. starting off the a league uh we've got stidler biddler versus vidya james yeah that's right stidler biddler with one visit to Wisconsin versus Vidya James, 1,000 visits to Wisconsin. These these are wildly different stats. You're right. That Vidya James, that's uh that's impressive at first because as you know, Wisconsin is is just a beautiful place. And how could you only go one time? Yeah. However. Yeah, I don't I don't understand. I I don't understand <laughs> either. But uh, only Vidya James only enjoyed their visit uh, 
34 percent of the time oh well that that doesn't matter uh, i think it's pretty significant because uh wisconsin is you know it's the land of dairy and, <laughs> and rolling hills and, and ice fishing it's i mean really, she's been there a thousand it's really times. god's country and yes it is god's country it's the it's the land of you know dreams and and cheese and, and you know she's been there so many times Look, even if she only enjoyed the visit thirty four percent of the time you think she's not dedicated to Wisconsin there, really there's dedication it? and then there's purity Jonas it's pretty clear purity. that Stidler she's one hundred percent of the time enjoyed Wisconsin and as it is God's country and if God is watching which as we know he he will be uh, it it's incredibly important. Uh, that that you enjoy. If you go and you enjoy every visit to the Kalahari Water Park, you know, then you know that I don't know. That's just not human. You know, that, that can't be uh, done. Uh, I'm incredibly offended. I mean, I've enjoyed every single visit to the Kalahari Water Park <laughs> that I've ever had. Well, I'll make sure you don't enjoy the next one because right. it's just only one visit to Wisconsin. That's just nothing. Right, that is just Charnel. nothing right, on Charnel. one thousand visits. I mean, maybe she was busy. So I don't, I don't know. I'm going to throw my hat in the ring with Stidler. I know we're supposed to bring expert advice on this show, but I don't. I, I just have to disagree with you here. It's video games all the way. And next up, our next match, we have Bronco Obama as well as Ram Rock. Oh, and this is an exciting matchup. Uh, really, really two professionals uh, that are honestly at the top of their game. Though they have the same amount of computers vanquished, <clears throat> Barack Obama vanquished the Great Council of Thirteen, and uh, those were real toughies. Those were real holding everyone back. And uh, I think she's she's just got the star power there. <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, the Lesser Council of Thirteen as well. Not anything to scoff at. No, no, uh, I not at don't. All. I, I I just don't think that the Great Council is necessarily a much higher uh, you know prestige than the Lesser Council in terms of. Uh, vanquishing. I think for me, it, it meant a lot to me as uh, growing up, just seeing seeing that great council uh, vanquished. Um, it was it <laughs> yeah, was a defining I, moment, really. In, in okay, my career. Well, if you think that the greater council is, you know, that really that it's great called thing, the greater council for a reason. Then, well, uh, yeah, you can pink Barack Obama. I'm sticking with Ramrod all the way. All right, all right. I guess we'll see. Guess we'll see who makes it. Moving on, we've got Tim Hotel. And we've got Ricky Spoon's Rattler. Oof, and this is a little bit of a celebrity. Let me tell match. you, yeah, quite a, uh, quite a doozy. Tim Hotel uh, evaded 357 cops. That's quite a bit. Ricky Spoon's That's, Rattler mm-hmm. only with four. But think about it. Think about it. When you look at the presidents met and evaded, uh, Tim Tim met 12 mm-hmm. presidents and evaded none of them, and that's that is a uh, f- pathetic, folks. I, honestly, I just can't believe he tried to pass. Th- this off as, as some of his best stats. When it came down to it, you know, they asked him here, what 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 shows off your the best of your life? You know, what really shows us who you are? And this is all he could come up with. Yeah, Spoons, on the other hand, like we've said before, the clean cut fundamental record that you need in order to, you know, make it into the big leagues. And uh, Tim Hotel, he's just going to be burned for that one. All right, well, we're giving it to Spoons and moving on to the major leagues. That's right, we're going to the S League. And this is exciting. These are these are the top of the top. So expecting some pretty even matchups here. With that being said, our first matchup here, Sandra Sunkett versus Fish in a Barrel. Ooh. And this is incredible. Uh, you've got a crendus factor of crucial for Sandra and a crendus factor of critical for Fishina. Yeah, that's uh, impressive. Along with legs broken, two out of two to 3.5 out of two. Fish in a barrel are going to be liking that. You're, you're right. They're, they're going to look at that. They're going to be impressed. They're going to say, how'd you get so many legs? And uh, knowing fish in a barrel, she's going to keep her lips sealed. We saw two amateur contestants, but now these are two real top dogs that you wish you could mm-hmm. really let them both in but that's just not possible yeah that's just not possible so unfortunately with this one i think you know the slightly higher crendus factor slightly higher lays broken and decent chunk higher bug eliminations it's a clear choice for me that's fair i got i gotta go with fishina as well uh she's she's an efficient uh, efficient she's just fishing that she's Doing a great job. Ms. Barrel, good job to her. Great job to Ms. Barrel. And here we go, on to our next contestants. So we've got uh, Romeo Dixon and Randolph Scrimmage. Mm. Uh, and I, you know what? I, I really don't know how this matchup got so high up. I think it's pretty clear cut mm. looking at the stats. Yep. Give it to Randolph Scrimmage. That's all we really need That's to Randolph. see. That's Randolph. It's all, yeah. It's all it. Randolph, ladies and gentlemen. And that leads us into our final round. Yes. We got Cheek 
Two Cheek versus Briggs and Fandel. Oh, these are these are stats that you know mm-hmm. any anyone would be proud of. Skeleton Bone Curse. That's a rare occurrence. Yeah, that's People are lucky all- <laughs> to have one. To have one. You know, Cheek is such an expert in everything else. It's obviously Skeleton Bone Curse is not his specialty. But he still has three, which is impressive. Zinfandel, those, ooh, that is quite the number. I mean, I've that never is, even heard of that, of something no, like that before. That must be a mistake. Well, that's incredible. I, that, I, you know, it, I might be able to carry him all the way. It's tough to say. Yeah, we'll just have to see. Uh, and we're, we're going to that number of kisses uh, along with the smooch factor. Mm. Cheek to cheek's got uh, a 24 with, with the smooch factor of B. You know, the average is... Uh, is a D minus. Yeah. So that's a pretty nice. That's a pretty nice smooch factor. And just look at those. Look at those little lips. Yeah. And then, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you just love to? You know, make a twenty five. I'd love to peck that cheek and two cheek looking pretty good. But something looking even more wild is the number of kisses and smooch factor for Zinfandel. Zinfandel oh, all goodness. over the place just this whole time. Zero kisses. And yet a triple A smooch factor. Have you That's, ever seen that? I, I just don't know how you do it with zero kisses. Oh, I think, you know, now I'm starting to get a more clear picture of what's going on. And I got to say, I think Rick might be a fraud. Cheek to cheek. Looking at the Ooh. bottom with 4 million points. Rick only with 800,000. With those types of stats, those skeleton bones cursed, you expect much higher. So I really can only assume Zix using some sort of dark magic. You know, looking at those types of stats, it does lead me to want to say uh, that dark magic is in play, and that could lead to an instant disqualification. That 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 would be a pretty quick cast down uh, for him. He it'd be there's just no there's just no room. I, I was getting for, sus- for the suits. Man, cheek to cheeks, four million points, and you can tell he's been you know working at it hard. He's been he's got normal stats. He hasn't been you know doing pulling any tricks. Doing nothing sly. Cheek to cheek is a working man. He's an honest man. He is. He's an honest man who's gotten. He's he's gotten those numbers the right the right way the, without any any dark magic. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna throw my hat in the ring with cheek to cheek. I will as well. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it for our ESPN head to head face to face versus match. And at the end of the days, you know, the judges will decide who's going up and who's going down. It's really not for us to decide. It's uh, for the big suits up in the sky. Thanks uh, to everybody for coming, and uh, thank you very much to our sponsors. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Rat Plan Insurance, Dunkin' Donuts, and as always, Subway. Eat fresh. Remember to mention this show, uh, and you'll get $4 from any Subway employee's paycheck, as long as they still have it, because uh, it might not be too much longer. Yeah, make sure you get on that quick. And we'll see you next time, here for ESPN. I'm Charnold Hoopscotch. And I'm Don DeMonzene. We'll see you next time.